Uh, Bob, with your kind permission, we'll proceed. It's like Noah's Ark up here. Nothing's gone extinct, despite the previous administration's attempts. More species, more connections. We don't understand them, but even in a time of war, we feel comforted in their midst. Black Ram is a garden where time stops. It was the year of the great dying, and we went into the forest as if summoned, listening. Six years ago, we'd received a letter from the government saying the old forest was going to be cut down to make it more resilient, to teach it manners. We wandered. We walked softly on emerald mosses. We didn't look up much. You can't see all that's above in Black Ram, only below. We lay down on the moss and slept. We dreamed. We woke. Heaven is beneath our feet as well as above. There no longer is any metaphor. For a week or so, all our roads are covered in gold. Our streets are lined with gold in the here and now. We saw the light coming down as a miracle. The waves of light are no different than waves of music. In the old forest, time behaves differently. It seems to us to have stopped. What is rot but slow fire? The light started toward us long ago. It's only now finding us, finding us here. In this old forest, you can hear the light. In olden times, when a person lost their mind, they'd be tied to a tree beside a rushing river and listen to it until they healed. The giants in here grow out of the hearts of fallen giants, which grew out of the hearts of the giants before them, which grew out of the hearts of the giants before them. This place is a carbon miracle. It holds the carbon in safekeeping through the centuries. What is old growth? This forest is so old it doesn't even show up on the Forest Service's charts. They can't see it. Their eyes are blinded. In my father's mansion, there are many rooms, says one prophet. I would not have made such a place without you in mind. A tree without a forest is not a tree. The tree without a forest will die. Sun scald, wind shear, and grief. Our grief is not the only grief in the world. All things are connected. Water and light equals life. Water, light, life, and earth equals rot. Water, life, light, and rot equals soil. Water and light equals music. Nature abhors a straight line. There is always music in the soil. There is always music being created in the wood. When you touch the wood, you can feel it like sunlight before you can hear it, before it comes out. It's been waiting a long time. We went into the ruination and salvaged one vertebrae of ancient spruce to make the perfect guitar. On it, our country's greatest musicians will play songs of resistance and hope. From it, the old forest will speak. The old forest will sing. The guitar has been silent all these centuries. We want a guitar that will defend the old forest. We selected the wood that held the music we need. We want a miracle. We will work for a miracle. What is time but the fundament of miracles? If we were to walk into a frozen field late in March and be told those who sleep beneath our feet as if dead would one day return in the spring, would we not call that a miracle?
Winters are still long in the yak, winter to spring, breath to breath. If a thing happens fast, we call it a miracle. If it takes centuries, we don't see it. And here we are in the middle, unseeing and unhearing. We're not the only ones who love black ram. Are we the crop or the gardener? This is only our first day in the garden. Everything we see, touch, taste, smell, hear is a miracle. Here for but an eye blink. They aerate the soil with daggered claws. Lilies grow where they walk. They roll boulders aside and life emerges. They lick the ants like sprinkles on ice cream. They scratch the soil and wildness rushes out, greeting the light with all of us in the middle. The yaks, frogs, and salamanders need black ram too. There are only three mother grizzlies with cubs left in the yak. There must be two of everything, one story reminds us. Our hearts remind us. What is a miracle, really? In the old forest, our relationship with time changes. The old forest tells us, slow down. We're all but a blink. We all sip from the headwaters in which sparkle flecks of gold so that we are made of gold. W.S. Merwin wrote, I want to tell what the forest are like. I will have to speak in a forgotten language. It was the year of the great dying. We went into the old forest to sleep and into the old forest to awaken. Listen, listen harder. <laughs>